Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, here's a question I get asked all the time. Uh, what grade should I start at? Or uh, what level should I come in at with the grades? Uh, now obviously this depends a little bit on uh, how long you've been playing. If you're, a, if you're a beginner, it's a super simple answer. If you've just started off on the drums, in my opinion, you should absolutely definitely start at the very first grade. It's called Initial. If you do Trinity College London books, it's called Initial. Uh, or Rock and Pop, it's called Initial. If you do a Rock School, um, it's called Debut, but the same idea, it comes before grade one. Lay that foundation, man. Start at the beginning, uh, set those basic skills in place with uh, reading, with your rudiments, with technique, with your note values, all the cool skills that grades uh, teach you and then proceed from there. I see it over and over and over again. Uh, I've got to remember I teach a lot of people and I have done over the years now on a daily basis. And what I've seen over and over again is people going in at a higher level and some of the skills they might be cool with, but other things just aren't there. Remember, you're standing on the shoulders of the skills from the previous grades as you progress each time. So top, yeah, I mean, absolutely best advice I could possibly give, uh, just based on my experience um, and my opinion, just, yeah, start at the beginning and build those skills. If you've been playing a bit longer, it is a little bit more of a qualified answer, although my answer is pretty much always the same, and that is just start at the beginning. So uh, often people come to me and they say, oh, I've been playing the drums for a while, um, but uh, typically what they say is I haven't done like formal learning before. Again, I haven't done rudiments, I haven't done like, reading, I haven't done note values, music theory, that kind of stuff. So I would really, really recommend anyone in that boat to again, start at the beginning. Like what's the worst case? You'll tear through it, like fine, great, good luck. That's a great sign, isn't it? And then you can eventually or quite quickly work up to a level where you are being challenged. My experience though, I'll just be honest here, my experience is that for 99% of people, that isn't the case. And honestly, like I've been playing the drums a long time. I've been playing the drums for 27 years or 28 years or something like that. And every time a new syllabus comes out, this is a really good example, when this one came out, there's loads of stuff in here, even in the initial to grade two, like absolute worst case, you think, oh, that's quite interesting. So even if it's not like a massive challenge for you, there's still things to be inspired by, I think, and pick up on. Like I totally, I've been doing some of these grade twos recently just for video demos and stuff. There's actually some really cool stuff in there that I've been inspired by. And it's a big part of a big part of the reason you actually pick up these books, isn't it? You study this stuff and do grades is because then you, you, you can be inspired by the material. Like this is drums, man. Like it's not... You know, you're not doing this primarily, in my view, anyway, you're not doing the grades to get a certificate. You're like you're gonna then apply for a job as a drummer and they're gonna go, well, have you got? Have you done your grade two? And you'll go, yeah, here's my certificate and they'll check it. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't work, the music industry doesn't work like that, trust me. What happens is you go, you play, you sound amazing or, you know, people hear of you because you're playing, you're sounding amazing or, you know, you work with people who recommend you for other stuff. But the point is, you have to be able to do your job. You have to be good at playing the drums and be a great musician. So that's that's the kind of main reason to do that. So the inspiration you get from the, from doing these things uh, is a big part of it as well. So for almost everybody, my answer is always going to be start at the beginning. Um, it's again like working with a lot of people that I do sort of on a daily basis, teaching hundreds and thousands of people over the years uh, drums and coming through these grades. Even drummers who've been playing for a while. It's very, 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 very unusual indeed that there isn't something that challenges them here quite early or at least something that's interesting or something that uh, makes them think a little bit or some little tidbit of theory knowledge that they hadn't uh, thought about. Um, and again and again and again, uh, you see people going in at higher grades and they start saying things like, oh, it's quite hard this, isn't it? Or they say, oh, it's, actually this, this bit's tricky. And they, they always say the same sort of phrases. Have you got any tips about how to play this? And like it'd be a grade five thing, for example. They say, have you got any tips about how to play this? They say, I'm struggling. I'm finding it hard to be consistent with this you know, complicated groove in grade five. And the answer is a really simple answer, which is that thing at grade five is based on and stands on the shoulders of the skills from the previous grades. Right? So you build the thing up. So I can't stress it enough. Like the only exceptions to starting at the beginning, in my view, are if you've been playing the drums for a long time and you uh, have you can read music and uh, perhaps from playing another instrument and you understand theory and all that kind of stuff and it like if you have a look at one or two of the earlier pieces initial grade one grade two it's kind of obvious that super obvious that you can sight read it like perfectly and you get a distinction for your performance again my experience is that's true of almost nobody. Is it not true of me? Like when I, a new syllabus comes out, I give this, I pick these books up, I play, there's all something interesting in here. You think, oh, what's going on here? It makes you think a little bit. So, I mean, not that I'm the gold standard, but I've been playing the drums for a long time and I, I find that. 
So the only exception would be if you're a really experienced musician, uh, perhaps you play piano to a really high level and you've come to drums and, and you can already jam around a bit on the drums. There's very, one or two exceptions, I suppose. But pretty much across the board, I'd recommend to everybody, uh, start at the beginning. Like I said, especially with the Trinity uh, College London grades, if you go for this, you actually get three grades in the book, so you can't really go too far wrong. By the time you get to grade two, there's some really cool things in there, some interesting things. And even if it's not a huge challenge for you and you whiz through it quite quick, like I say, there's still interesting stuff in there uh, to be inspired by. Um, so that's that would be my advice. Almost everybody, start at the beginning, man. Thanks so much. Great, great question. Thanks all the people who asked me that. And actually, I should have made a video about this before because it's one of the one of the main questions that comes around again and again. So uh, hopefully that um, clears it up. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.